This is the Beaver. It is a very rare adding machine. It was made in Japan and uh, yeah, the label here explains how you can add numbers and subtract numbers. It has a serial number here. It's a very rare machine and I only found uh, two others on the internet. Uh, only one of them had a serial number and that's very similar to this one. It also started with 440. So yeah, maybe only a thousand of these were made. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it, it was only in the, on the market from 1964 for yeah, maybe a year or two. I don't know. It was, uh, it was made by Itoya, which is a Japanese company of uh, stationary products. It was founded in 1904 by Katsutaro Ito, and uh, he opened a stationary store in Tokyo. And uh, yeah, that company still exists today and it still has a store in Tokyo. In 1964, 64, they made this machine and exported it to the USA and also to the Netherlands apparently. And uh, yeah, it's a very simple adding machine. It has these sliders on the front, six sliders, and uh, with those you can input a number. It has a six digit register up here. And to add this number to the register, you have to uh, pull this trigger, it says here push up the trigger, so you just squeeze and move this up. That adds the number to the register and resets the input as it does so. Yeah, the uh, carry mechanism on this does not work very well. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, yeah, the results are not very good. Uh, this machine should also be able to uh, subtract, and it does that with uh, complementary uh, digits. You, there's a switch here to change from addition to subtraction, and when you change that, these uh, numbers next to the sliders uh, change. It's now uh, black digits going from 0 to 9 and in subtraction mode they are red digits going from 9 to 0, so they're complementary digits. And yeah, because these sliders are all up here, they're now all on 9s, you actually, to, to set a number, you want to start with them on all zeros. And for that they introduced this uh, slider at the top. With that you can move all the input pins to zero so that you can enter a, a number to add. And uh, yeah, as I said, the, because the carry mechanism doesn't work, it's, it's not going to be able to um, uh, subtract this number. Because essentially what it's doing is adding 99999 and... Uh, then seven uh, four. So yeah, that's that's not not going to work. Or seven six, I should say. So um, yeah, I'll I'll just do it and show you. It still adds those adds those nines, but there's a, a carry that didn't didn't happen here. So uh, yeah, it didn't uh, didn't carry it through to zero. To reset this uh, register, you turn this knob here, so you just turn it upwards until uh, everything is on zero. Uh, oh yeah, an interesting thing is in subtraction mode, it uh, actually uh, takes care of this uh, complement. Uh, 
instead of just doing the complementary digits, it also automatically adds one extra uh, to give it the ten, make it the tens complement. So if I subtract nine 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 nine, that's equivalent to adding one, and it does that by allowing this last pin to go a little bit extra. It goes goes further above the nine when I pull the trigger. So it's not actually adding zero, it's adding one. But uh, when this is in, in addition mode, it blocks this pin from moving further. So, uh, so it just adds the zero and does nothing. So uh, yeah, as I said, the uh, carry mechanism doesn't work and uh, I'll open it up to show you why. To open it up I have to remove all the uh, knobs. And now I'll have to remove the four screws off the front plate. And then I can remove this front plate. And here you can see the mechanism. I'll just uh, take it out even further. I'll remove the this knob. There's a small screw in the inside there, and then take it out of the base. The problem with this machine is that when you pull the trigger it moves the frame upwards to, uh, to move all these uh, input pins. The input pins are on these rods with uh, a toothed rack underneath and yeah, when you move this up those toothed racks uh, drop down, connect with the gears next to these uh, number wheels and move them forward. Unfortunately, that frame that moves, it's not a solid frame. Uh, as you can see here, it uh, skews. It's, uh, it's a bit uh, yeah, diagonal. And the same goes then for this end, that rod at the top. And unfortunately, that rod there is what uh, triggers the carries. It uh, moves these... Uh, these levers up and yeah it just doesn't trigger the ones uh, on the higher digits. Um, normally that 
uh, there's a there's a rod down here, an axle with a gear on either end, and I've removed that because the gears on each end are made of plastic. And those plastic gears uh, break, they crack open, and yeah, they start slipping on this axle. What should happen is that when you push this side forward, this, uh, the gear on this side uh, starts turning and also drives uh, this, this one forward so that the two sides of the frame move forward at the same speed, at the same time. But yeah, that's not happening now, so this, this one lags behind and uh, yeah, skews the frame. So that was the Beaver adding machine. Thank you for watching.